Welcome to another episode of The Clever Dev. Today we are going to do a tutorial on material UI icons, and we will look at um, how to get them imported, the dependencies necessary, the most basic usage of them inside of a React project. Um, look a little bit at this list of icons that are available, um, the different options for using icons, and we'll build um, not just a really basic React project, but we'll also use them in, a, uh, in an example that is uh, uses a couple more MUI components as well. So there was an icon button and this alert component here with this custom icon. If you want to learn about these things, then stick around. If you want to learn about material UI icons, a great place to start is this link in the MUI docs. So it's actually a list of all of the icons that they have available. So um, I'm just going to search for a success icon in here and I'll use this check here and it just gives you the import right away. So really easy way to get started. So in my code today, I'm gonna to do two examples. First with no other MUI components, just a simple div and getting this check icon working. And then we'll build a little something more after that. So anyway, um, in terms of dependencies, you need all the usual MUI dependencies. I will have a link in the video details um, to a place that you can copy paste uh, the quick dependencies that you need to install. So with that said, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get started on coding this. So like I said, the most basic example is you get a div and get your MUI icon in there. And we'll take a look over here. Oh, there it is rendered for us. And that is how you get it, uh, get a very simple MUI icon working in a React project. That's all it takes. So one thing that I like to do is um, just change from that default black. So I'm going to add some color in here, just set it to blue. Actually, I'll set it to primary main. This uses the MUI theme here to change the color. So you can just see that that blue color change or that that color changed to blue right there. So that's how simple it is to use um, icons in a React project. Now, since this included the dependencies for a typical MUI project, then um, it's probably a little heavier than it looks in terms of JavaScript packages and so on uh, impacting your app. But still, in terms of your code in your TSX file or JSX file, that's really all there is. The next thing that I'm going to do is add an icon button that's wrapping a child icon and then also use an alert, have it show an alert that um, takes an icon prop. Uh, before I do that, I want to mention that there are links in the video details to um, all of this code if you want to copy paste and make things easier. Um, also, I want to mention that if you're interested in supporting me, then I have a link to a free 10 day trial to Pluralsight. So um, please do check that out. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add our state variable Otherwise, I'll probably forget. So I like to do that right away. So we can say open, set open equals state, And I'll set a default value false for that. Then the next thing we need to do if we're going to use icons within a bigger MUI project is um, just got to get that project set up. So here I'm going to use the button and um, I'm actually going to pass the shopping cart icon as a child of that. It likes to be a little too helpful here. So um, we've got our shopping cart icon. I'm going to go ahead and give that um, blue value. So there's several ways that you can change color. You can say color blue. You can use the theme like I did earlier. Um, you can give it a hex value or an RGBA value. So it's always a good idea to make sure that's rendering OK. So there we go. There's that icon. And let's actually take a look at that icon in the DOM real fast and see how it's rendering. So we think of icons as components in MUI, and that's how they're exported. But um, it's actually wrapping this SVG here. So um, pretty handy to know that. That lets us sometimes maybe target some of these classes in here. Um, but anyway, let's keep going with our example here. I will get a dialog in here. And my dialog, I will have wrapping an alert. And my alert, I will have wrapping an alert title. So the alert title is how we get our success mess or our, whatever our text is. In this case, it will be an, a success message. Um, let's see what it's complaining about. Um, they would like to have property open. Simple as that. 
now we know when our dialog is open. Um, I'm just going to give it a success message. So there's that. And okay, so we have our we have our state variable up here, our state value, I should say, and um, we're using it in a place, but we're not actually setting it anywhere. So that's what we want in this icon button. We want to handle the click of the icon button, and when it's clicked, we want to say set open. And a quick way to do the to control the open, it's really just a toggle, so I'm just going to say set open to the opposite of its current value. And the handy thing is that I can actually do that in a couple places. Um, on the dialog we want the on close. So this gets fired if I click outside of the dialog. So the dialog is wrapping our alert. That means that we'll see an alert, but there will also be a backdrop. And on the dialog close, uh, or excuse me, that gets the on close gets fired if I click on the backdrop anywhere. And then the alert, um, I think we can add an on close here. Yeah, it looks like it. And so I think without this on close, there will be no X value. In fact, let's just see. Let's see if I didn't make it mad. Oh, I did. Here we go. Refresh that. So. it's done loading we can give this a click okay so no X value but if I click out it fires this on close on dialog but here we can say on close on the alert and we'll click that and now we get this nice X okay so there is a default icon over here and it's some kind of check mark icon I'm sure we could go look it up in our material UI icon list um, but anyway let's add our thumb up icon and it's as simple as using the icon prop on here. And I like to just use the least amount of code possible, so I like to go ahead and close that tag right there. So now instead of that checkmark icon, we have this icon here, um, this thumb up icon. So before uh, we end this, I want to mention that there's actually a couple different kinds of icon options in MUI, and by that I mean they've got their kind of standard MUI icons that they export. They've actually also got literally something called an SVG icon. Um, let's see if we can click and go down to that. So you can see the code here. It's a wrapper around a path. So if you have a custom icon, that's what you can use. They also have um, this icon component, and if you have Font Awesome icons installed, then you can just pass an icon name, like star, this text and it will render the appropriate icon based on that. So a couple pretty cool options. I like what they did with that. So if this was helpful, please consider subscribing. And um, I hope that this will uh, just help you with whatever your project is that you're working on.